Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about ADA. ADA continues to push down lower, broke below bullish support and is therefore um, at the moment set up to move down a little lower. Um, at the moment, this is still counted as a wave four, which should result in at least one more low. That view is valid and likely as long as price stays below 30.4 cents, that is the 50% retracement level let's just zoom in once more um, i explained it in yesterday's video already looks to me as if we're currently working on a wxy correction this can always move up a little higher it can even turn into a triangle mm, so what it would really need as a first indication that the fifth wave to the downside to around i would say you know 17 cents at least that's an area of structural support um, that this is started first evidence or the first yeah, indication would be a break below the low of the X wave here. That swing low that would, especially if the price move down, looks impulsive, would indicate the onset of this fifth wave. Until then, price can extend further in the fourth wave. And to be honest, it would really need a confirm to get a confirmation. We need to see a price below 22 cents. That is the breakout point and the confirmation wave five has started. Until then, with a break below the 26 cent level, the X wave low, yeah, probabilities increased that the wave 5 has started, but it can still get a bit of an extension in this fourth wave. Okay, important to highlight here that at the moment, until we see an impulse, and important would be an impulse above resistance, we still expect lower lows. Um, we have been expecting lower lows for weeks, it happened, yeah. Uh, I also want to just make one, one thing clear, even though we invalidated the bullish pattern we talked about in previous videos, we um, at no point uh, were able to confirm a low in place, right? So it's of course the case that as long as price is heading down lower on the short term, short time frame, that it's just carrying on with the trend. Okay, so that's very important. Just want to avoid any misunderstandings in the analysis. Of course, when we Obviously, ADA had the potential, let me just zoom out a little bit. ADA had the potential that an impulse was done here between December and February. Okay, But what you need to see as confirmation that the trend is shifting is not only the impulse to the upside, you need to see the three wave pullback as well. And ADA failed to hold all bullish support levels. On the micro side, I did explain in every video in the last few weeks that a move above 38.5 cents is required to indicate that a low is in place. Now, that was not the case. Price didn't do that. And therefore, the primary expectation was still to go down lower. And then just to see how price would react to these bullish support levels. There was no reaction. So price just crashed through. Important is always to understand that the scenarios we show they're only valid as long as certain conditions are met. And then it's all about when price is in these areas, hitting these support areas, does price see a reaction? If we say price is likely to go lower until we see a break above a certain level, then it is set up to go lower, okay? Um, just wanted to make that very clear because um, there was a comment in yesterday's video saying that all Elliott Wave analysts were, were wrong with this um, scenario. Now, I'm not sure which other analysts was referred to but there was nothing to be wrong about really because a bullish and bearish case was outlined um it was said that it needs a break above 38 and a half cents to indicate that the rally higher has started and that was never given that condition was never met okay so you have to go with the trend which was down in the short term and price did not show the reaction at the um needed 78.6 fib level that was the last reliable bullish support level at 27 and a half cents and um anybody with a stop below that level yeah would have avoided a 20 percent uh, drop okay now it has recovered since but at the moment due to making a new low and the lack of showing an impulse to the upside it is expected to head down lower at the moment okay that can change we always need to be flexible in these markets and that's very important there's no point staying um rigid you know and staying uh or being being unflexible or inflexible uh, we need to be focused on the current price action and currently the trend is still down okay that's my update about ada hope you liked the update um hope you liked it if you did then please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership thanks a lot for watching Bye bye